Today, I'm going to explain an Indian thriller film called Table Number 21. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie kicks off as an unnamed man commits the unthinkable from the top of a building. Damn, table number 21 not messing around. Surprisingly, a camera is seen recording him, and millions of people are watching him online. It appears as if he was a part of the notorious Red Room that is only found on the dark web. Following this, we are introduced to a young couple, Vivan and Sia, who are on their way to Fiji on a business class flight. They will be spending a week in a luxurious five-star resort with the most lavish of arrangements money can by. But, surprisingly, from the couple's conversation, we get to know that both of them are unemployed and have been looking for jobs desperately. Now the question arises, how are they affording such an expensive vacation? Well, it turns out that they participated in a lottery and won the first prize, which is a paid trip to Fiji. In the next scene, the couple arrives at Fiji and they are escorted to their hotel. It is a beautiful place that is surrounded by lush greenery and blue seas. Vivan and Sia are over the moon to have been selected for such an exotic opportunity. Hence, for the first few days, they spend their time eating, making love, and even busting out a few Bollywood numbers. From time to time, Vivan also checks his email to see if he has received any job offers, but every time he is left disappointed. In this way, five days pass by in a jiffy. But on the sixth, the room service guy arrives at their door with a bouquet of flowers. He asks them to get dressed and come to the dining room, saying, we have something special for you. It turns out today is the couple's 10th anniversary. Vivan is shocked as to how the resort guys knew about it, since he probably almost forgot about it himself. But Sia doesn't think much of it and asks him to get ready. After a while, the couple puts on their fancy suits and reaches the dining area, where they are greeted with traditional music. There is also a lovely cake and some wine put in front of them. Seeing all of this, Vivan gets emotional and starts ranting about his useless life. Vivan, you're killing the vibe, buddy. However, he promised promises to give Sia all the happiness and the luxuries that she deserves. His emotional outburst is interrupted when a shady-looking man approaches them from behind. He is Mr. Khan, the manager of the resort and the one who invited the couple here. He immediately wins the couple's trust by cracking some corny jokes and then takes them to the bar for a few drinks. There, Mr. Khan reveals that the resort is famous for hosting a bi-monthly game called Table Number 21, in which only married couples can participate. The game will be live telecast to a large number of audience members across the world. He then asks Vivan and Sia if they would like to try it out. The rules are very simple. Mr. Khan will ask them a set of eight yes or no questions, which will be related to their personal lives. After each question, they will be given a particular task. The second rule is that once they participate, they cannot abandon the game in the middle. And the final rule is that they cannot use the bathroom. Or, no, that's wrong. They cannot use the assistance of an outsider. Mr. Khan also reiterates the phrase, if you lie, you will die. Vivan is intrigued by the weird game, and he inquires if there's any reward if they win. To their shock, Mr. Khan reveals that it is 21 crore rupees. Sorry if I butchered that, I don't know what a crore is. Hence, without any hesitation, the couple accepts the challenge. I guess crore is awesome, as they are sure Mr. Khan doesn't know much about their personal lives. They also believe that it is the perfect opportunity to earn some cash and sort out their miserable lives. Following this, the couple is brought to another room, where they are made to sign some agreement papers. They are also strapped with a lie detector bracelet that grows red and green when someone is lying or telling the truth, respectively. Then, several cameras are fitted in the room, and Mr. Khan reveals that about six million people in the world will be watching. This makes the couple a bit nervous. However, after a small chat, they are ready to go. For the first question, Mr. Khan asks Vivan if he is comfortable making out with his wife in public. Public. The latter says no, and his bracelet turns green. Mr. Khan congratulates them and asks them to make out in the busiest street in the city. <laughs> this is the second part of the task, and if they successfully complete it, they will win one crore rupees. Unsurprisingly, the couple does it without any hesitation. When they return back to the resort, Vivan complains that the task was too easy. He believes that everything is a joke, and that there is no reward for winning it. In reply, Mr. Khan opens a room which is stacked with a shitload of cash. At the same time, Vivan checks his phone and learns that one 
crore rupees has already been credited to his account. This elates the couple, and they get ready to face off the remaining challenges. For the second question, Mr. Khan asks Sia if she believes her husband knows her well. She replies with a firm no, which turns out to be the correct answer. Vivan is slightly annoyed as he thought he knew everything about his wife. After this, Sia is asked to complete a task. She will have to consume a dish which is made up of cooked insects. Vivan, who knows that his wife is a vegetarian, becomes scared that they will lose the challenge and ultimately the prize money. But to his surprise, Sia begins munching on the insects, hence winning two crore rupees for them. This proves that Vivan, in fact, doesn't know much about Sia. Or maybe those bugs were made out of plants. In the third question, Mr. Khan challenges Vivan to manipulate him in any way. The latter, being a smart guy, does it effortlessly. However, it is evident that Mr. Khan wanted them to proceed to the next stage. In the fourth question, he asks Vivan if he can do anything to save his wife. The latter says yes, and his bracelet glows green. As for the task, Sia is locked in an airtight chamber which has a limited amount of oxygen. There is only one way for Vivan to get her out. He will have to draw 500 milliliters of his own blood. This shocks Vivan, as he has always been scared of blood. Vivan pleads with Mr. Khan that he cannot complete the challenge and that they simply want to go home. Man, he's caving fast. At this point, he doesn't even care about the money. However, Mr. Khan makes it clear that the timer has already started, so stop being a pussy, Vivan. In the next seven minutes, the oxygen inside the chamber will run out, and Sia will suffocate to death. Hearing this, Vivan mans up and gets ready to face his worst phobia. He somehow gathers some courage and manages to draw out the required amount of blood, hence freeing his wife. After the narrow escape, the couple realizes that the questions and tasks that they are being given are not ordinary after all. Mr. Khan already knew about their weaknesses, like Sia hates non-vegetarian food, and Vivan is scared of blood. Hence, they decide to abandon the game and head back to the airport. The couple gets on a boat and tries to get away, but after a while, the bracelets on their hands start beeping. Then, Mr. Khan talks through the boat's speaker, revealing that if they try to violate the second rule of table number 21, i.e. abandoning the game, the bracelets in their hands will explode and kill them. Hearing this, the couple reluctantly heads back to the resort. Now, it's time for the fifth question. Mr. Khan asks Vivan if he will love his wife the same, even if she goes bald. Vivan replies with a resounding yes, and the lie detector turns green, much to the relief of Sia. However, when she hears the task, she is almost brought to tears. Vivan is ordered to shave her hair and make her bald right now. This obviously doesn't sit well with Sia, and she pleads with her husband to not go through with it. However, with victory very close, Vivan doesn't want to take any chances. So, he calms her down, grabs the trimmer, and makes her look like One Punch Man. Now, the couple has won five crore rupees. In the sixth question, it is Vivan's turn yet again. He is asked if he is ever raised hands on his wife. With this, the movie goes into a flashback. Sia has just gotten an abortion because of their weak economic condition. Jeez, this got dark. She believes that they won't be able to raise their baby in a proper way. However, Vivan thinks otherwise. He is angry that this decision was made without his consultation. So, in a fit of rage, he smacks his wife. Back in the present, Vivan hesitantly says yes, and the bracelet glows green. For the task, Mr. Khan brings out a sound meter, which has a scale up to 100 20 decibels. He then asks Sia to slap her husband as hard as she can and reach the end limit of the sound meter. Sia doesn't want to hit her innocent husband for no reason, but since their lives are on the line, she has to do it. She starts off with a few soft slaps, slaps that would bring shame to Moist Critical. But then, she does some hard ones. Ultimately, she manages to hit 120 decibels on the sound meter at the expense of her husband's cheeks. At this point, the couple have started regretting their arrival in Fiji. They wish that they had never won the lottery. Nonetheless, they get ready for the sixth question, and Mr. Khan asks Vivan if he has ever assaulted someone. He answers with a yes, which is true, because Vivan was a hardcore bully at school. Best get them cheeks ready for some more clapping. Following this, Mr. Khan hands him a hockey stick and orders him to vandalize a certain car parked outside. The car belongs to someone who is not a part of the game. Reluctantly, Vivan heads outside and begins smashing the car as if it belongs to his ex-girlfriend. But as he is about to leave, the the owners of the car arrive and tackle him to the ground. Vivan somehow runs away and meets a cop. He then discloses everything, including how they're being forced to play a deadly game that is being broadcasted across the world. However, before he can give out more details, Mr. Khan's men arrive and take him away in their car. Once there is
return to the resort, Mr. Khan chastises Vivon for breaking the third rule. He tried to interact with an outsider, the cop. So, as a punishment, Sia has been taken to a club dressed as an escort. Mr. Khan further explains that she has been tied to a pole, and one by one, her clothes are being stripped. The whole thing is being broadcast live on television. Mr. Khan then hands Vivon the club's address, telling him to save his wife if he can. Wasting no time, Vivon rushes to the place and arrives in the nick of time as Sia is about to be stripped of her last clothes. He then fights off a macho guy and eventually frees his wife. After returning to the resort, the couple begs to be let go, but Mr. Khan says that it's not possible. Instead, he starts revealing the specifics of table number 21. It turns out that Vivon and Sia weren't chosen randomly. In fact, a very thorough research was conducted on their lives. Because they were struggling financially and had a lot of secrets between them. They were chosen as the winners and given an all-paid vacation to the resort. Mr. Khan then apologizes for the inconvenience, but asserts that it is just business. He then asks them to get ready for the final question. If they win, they will be 21 crores richer. In the next scene, Mr. Khan starts briefing about the final challenge. Since it is the finale, eight rapid-fire questions will be asked. Each is worth two crores. At the end of it, they will be given one single task. The catch is that they will have to answer each question in correctly. Sia is chosen for it. She doesn't want to go through with it, but Vivon reminds her that they have no other choice. Soon the game begins and Mr. Khan starts bombarding Sia with rapid-fire questions. She answers seven of them correctly and it all goes down to the final question. To the couple's horror, Mr. Khan asks if she has ever slept with another man, even after their marriage. Sia? who has to give the wrong answer, hesitantly says yes. And surprisingly, the bracelet turns green. This reveals that she did have an extramarital affair. Vivon's expression suddenly changes, and Sia starts screaming that the machine is lying. However, Mr. Khan clears everything by a simple trick. He takes Sia's phone and texts her boss, who she supposedly had coitus with. To Vivon's dismay, the boss replies in a very seductive manner, indicating that his wife did cheat on him. Finally, Sia comes clean that at the time, she was about to be fired, and the only way to convince her boss was by doing it. Now that the game is over, Mr. Khan brings out a gun and says that Sia will have to die because she has spoken a lie. Vivon, despite having his heart broken, does not want to see the love of his life pass away. Hence, he pleads with Mr. Khan to find an alternative, and the latter gives them an option. If Sia is to be saved, Vivon will have to take the life of another person of his choosing. The courageous husband immediately accepts the proposal. After this, the couple is escorted inside a room where a mentally unstable man is present. He is the target that has to be killed. Vivon goes near him with a gun and gets shocked to learn that it is Akram, his friend from high school. Here, we get to know that Akram was mercilessly bullied by Vivon, Sia, and their friends during high school. The bullying left such a deep scar in his mind that he is still not recovered from it. This devastates Vivon, and he hesitates to pull the trigger. When Mr. Khan threatens to kill his wife, Vivon attempts to commit the unthinkable, but to his surprise, there's no bullets in the gun. That's lucky if he'd offed himself, his wife probably still would have died. <laughs> idiot. Finally, Mr. Khan reveals that Akram is his son, and he did all of this to get back at the bullies. <laughs> okay. Now that Vivon and Sia have learned their lessons, they are free to go. The movie ends as the couple returns to their hotel room and contemplates their life choices. Mr. Khan has broken them from the inside, and it is evident that they will never be the same again. Subscribe for more videos like this turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.